Whether they took place through human error, sabotage, or unforeseen circumstances, these structural failures are sure to make you feel nervous next time you're on a bridge. Here are seven of the worst bridge collapses in history. Number 7. Yangmingtan Bridge The 15.4 km long Yangmingtan Bridge is located in the city of Harbin, Heilongjiang Province, China. It is the country's longest bridge on the northern side of the Yangtze River. Construction on the bridge began in 2009 and it was completed in only 18 months. As Harbin's first suspension bridge, its total building cost was estimated at around $300 million. Even within the context of China's fast-growing infrastructure, the project was finished so quickly that it received received praises from the state media who called it a Harbin miracle and a testament of Harbin speed. On the 24th of August 2012, at approximately 5 a.m., a section of the bridge measuring around 100 meters collapsed onto the footpath below it. Four trucks carrying construction materials were on that particular portion of the bridge when it collapsed. It was suspected that their combined weight is what led to the structural failure. One investigator concluded that the bridge had been overloaded on a ramp that was designed to support a maximum weight of 55 tons. The truck's added weight measured close to 500 tons, almost 10 times over the limit. Early investigations established that the blame rested with the owners of the truck, who had overloaded them, but also with the traffic controllers for allowing the trucks on the particular ramp simultaneously. Three people lost their lives in the collapse, and five others were injured, two of whom reportedly arrived at the hospital in critical condition. The collapse took place less than a year since the bridge was open to traffic and the ramp broke off from both sides. This had encouraged speculation regarding significant safety and structural details, which had been overlooked or omitted in the rush to complete the project as fast as possible. Number 6. The Xiangsu Bridge Construction on this bridge, which stretched over Seoul's Han River in South Korea, was completed in 1979. It measures 1160 meters. On the 21st of October 1994, the bridge collapsed because of a suspension structure failure. One of the concrete slabs fell as its support steel trusses had not been welded properly. 32 lives were lost in the accident, 17 people were injured. Because of its overall weak structure, the Songsu Bridge had to be completely built. The design on a new bridge with the same name and similar architectural style was completed on the 15th of August 1997. Number 5. The Sunshine Skyway Bridge Although it has been rebuilt, the original Sunshine Skyway Bridge, spanning Florida's Tampa Bay, was first opened to traffic in 1954 on the 6th of September. On the 9th of May 1980, at approximately 7.33 a.m., the MV Summit Venture freighter collided with one of the bridge's support columns. The incident took place during a massive thunderstorm and caused more than 1,200 feet of the bridge to plummet into the Tampa Bay. A Greyhound bus, six cars, and a truck fell into to the water from a height of 150 feet. 35 people lost their lives. A man called Wesley McIntyre survived the massive drop as his pickup truck had initially landed on the freighter's deck before falling into the water. The man subsequently launched a lawsuit against the company that owned the Summit Venture and, in 1984, he settled for $175,000. He was the last person that drove on the bridge's original southern portion. John Lero, the ship's pilot, was cleared from wrongdoing by the Coast Guard investigation that followed. He was also cleared in front of a state grand jury. In 1993, all the concrete and steel structures of the Sunshine Skyway Bridge were demolished as part of its rebuilding plan. Number 4. The Silver Bridge the Silver Bridge was built in 1928, and its name was due to the color of its aluminum paint coating. It was an I-bar chain suspension bridge that stretched over the Ohio River, connecting Point Pleasant, North Virginia, to Gallopolis, Ohio. In 1967, on the 15th of December, the structure collapsed during rush hour traffic, which resulted in the deaths of 46 people. Two of them were never recovered. The bridge collapsed due to overloading and the failure of one single I-bar in the suspension chain 
Investigations revealed that the defect, which had compromised the Ibar's structural integrity, was only 0.1 inches deep and had been caused by corrosion. The bridge's design had also made maintenance and inspection rather difficult. Engineering historian Henry Petrolsky described the factor behind the collapse as a design that inadvertently made inspection all but impossible and failure all but inevitable. If ever a design was to blame for a failure, this was it. The collapse was also linked to sightings of the Mothman, a Point Pleasant legendary creature which had been spotted in the area from November 16, 1966 and up until the date of the accident. More than 100 people had allegedly seen the Mothman between 1966 and 1967. After the incident, among the theories that emerged was one claiming that this creature had shown itself as a warning of the collapse that was to come. Number 3 the Rafiganj Rail Disaster The Rafiganj Rail Disaster, which claimed the lives of at least 130 people, was caused by a faulty colonial-era bridge over north-central India's Dav River. The Rajdani Express, a train carrying more than 1,000 people, derailed from the 300-foot-long bridge on the 10th of September 2002 at approximately 10.40 p.m. The accident took place near the town of Rafiganj, and 15 of the train's 18 cars fell from the track. Two of them went into the river below, sealing the fates of the passengers trapped inside. The powerful impact from the crash had also caused people from other carriages to be thrown into the river. The region's poor roads hindered the efforts from rescuers and local military personnel. The rainstorms, which had occurred prior to the derailment, had made the roads almost inaccessible. By morning, with the aid of local people, around 125 passengers were pulled from the river and taken to safety. In the weeks that followed, followed, 130 bodies were recovered from the river. However, since more than 50 people were still missing, it is believed that the actual death toll is closer to 200. Over 100 were injured in the derailment. Several theories emerged after the accident regarding the factors behind it. Many of them were focused on the faulty bridge, which, as one railway employee reported, had been seen as weak for a long time, even before the incident. Initially, it was believed that metal fatigue and rust had caused the bridge bridge's structure to shift, which in turn had caused the rails to crack. Later reports revealed the absence of fish plates, which connected the rails to the bridge, anchoring them. Some investigators suggested sabotage. The Naxalites, a Maoist terrorist group in the area who had been involved in guerrilla warfare, were suspected to have stolen the fish plates. It was believed that they had done it in order to force an accident as revenge for their leader's recent arrest. However, the group never claimed responsibility for the alleged attack. Number 2. The Sterling Bridge one of the earliest bridge collapses ever documented took place during the Battle of Stirling Bridge on September 11, 1292. The bridge was a narrow wooden structure over the River Forth near Stirling Castle. It served as a significant strategic point during the First War of Scottish Independence. The Scottish forces, led by William Wallace and Andrew Murray, confronted the combined English forces of Hugh de Cressingham and the 6th Earl of Surrey, John de Warren. Even though the Scottish forces were outnumbered, they used the bridge as a tactical advantage. Murray and Wallace waited for a significant number of English troops to advance on the narrow structure. Then, the Scottish attack commenced. Spearmen attacked from high ground, successfully fending off attacks from English heavy cavalry before moving on to the infantry. The Scots gained control on the eastern side of the bridge, thus hampering the crossing of any English reinforcements. Historical accounts concerning the bridge's collapse differ. According to some chronicles, the Scots had sabotaged the structure of the bridge so that it would collapse due to the weight of the advancing enemy troops. Others claim that the bridge's destruction was subsequently ordered by Suri upon his retreat. The number of casualties is unknown, but it has been speculated that around 2,000 English troops were on the bridge when the Scots launched their attack. In any case, Wallace and Murray were victorious in the Battle of Stirling Bridge, and their victory heavily rested on a strategy which had the bridge at its core. Number 1. The Hyatt Regency Walkway 
in what is considered to be one of the deadliest structural collapses in the history of the United States, this disaster claimed the lives of 114 people and injured 216. The incident took place on the 17th of July, 1981, at the Hyatt Regency Kansas City Hotel in Kansas City, Missouri. The hotel was opened on the 1st of July, 1980. Its most distinctive features were the walkways, which were suspended from the ceiling in the hotel's lobby. They were made out of steel and glass, each weighing around 64,000 pounds and measuring around 120 feet. The second level walkway was aligned directly below the fourth level walkway. On July 17th, in the evening, approximately 1,600 people had gathered in the hotel lobby to watch and take part in a tea dance party. At the same time, 40 people were watching it from the second walkway. 16 to 20 people were watching it from the fourth. A design flaw concerning the support beams for the fourth walkway and the steel tie rods meant to carry the weight of both bridges made it barely possible for the structures to stand on their own. Once people started gathering on them, they became overloaded. The fourth walkway collapsed onto the second one, which then collapsed onto the party below. Those who did not die instantly were trapped under over 60 tons of glass, steel, and concrete. The exhibition area on the ground floor was turned into an improvised morgue. Kansas City's response team for natural disasters was mobilized on the scene, equipped with earth-moving machines. Cranes were brought at the site of the collapse to remove the pieces of walkway in order to release the survivors. In order to reach those trapped under the massive structures, rescuers had to dismember some of the dead bodies that were in the way. A surgeon performed an emergency amputation on a man whose leg was trapped under an I-beam. He performed the procedure using a chainsaw. The hotel's sprinkler system was also slowly flooding the lobby, and it could not be stopped because it was not connected to a public source, but to water tanks instead. This placed the survivors at risk of drowning. Mark Williams was the last person to be rescued alive from the wreckage. After spending over nine hours with both legs out of their sockets, pinned under a large piece from a lower skywalk, he was almost about to drown. Luckily, Kansas City's fire chief noticed that the lobby's doors were holding the water inside. The danger of drowning was eliminated when a bulldozer was sent to break through the doors, letting the water out. In the end, 29 people were rescued from the collapsed bridges. These stories will make you think twice about straying from the path whenever you are exploring the great outdoors. Here are 10 of the creepiest park ranger discoveries.